immediately. You have your sound on, you can hear yourself saying these crazy things. Uh, there was a network error, unfortunately. On our end? Mm -hmm. I have mine's got a little green block. It says I'm pumping out 1.9 megabytes oh. per second. Yeah, it just says there's an error. Try again. And the error is my birth year, so that could mean something. It definitely means something. Oh my gosh, there you are. That's crazy. It is exciting. That's crazy. Today, we're going to look at some bath bombs. Bath bombs? We could look at bath bombs if you'd like. I feel like it'd be kind of boring. It just look chalky. A lot of times they're made out of salt. The fizz. The fizz part comes from some sort of chemical reaction, but I don't think that's the salt. I don't use those. I feel like it's it's bad for you. Which part? The part where you're bathing in like a bunch of fragrance stuff that's just chalky. Uh, I don't see how that could be bad for you. Mm. I don't use them because I don't take baths. Unless I've got like um, some sort of body ache and I need to like soak in hot water. Last time I took a bath I was 12 years old and I just thrown up. And I was See? just sitting there while I had like... That was the last time you took a bath? And the last time I threw up. It was an eventful night for me. I feel like uh, maybe they're linked. That could be true. I can't deny. Last time you threw up, you were 12. Yeah. How old were you? Because it's been many years. Oh, longer it? than I've been alive. It's longer than you've been alive. Yeah. Yeah, the last time I threw up was in 1994, three, 1993. It was a while ago. I like how that's like a pivotal moment. I still, uh, still don't like it. Didn't like when it was happening and I still don't like it. You know what I mean? So it was 1993? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was a good year for throwing up. <laughs> so you were 22? <laughs> yeah. Quick math. Something like that. I mean, I've still, I mean, technically I can still beat you because I haven't thrown up since I was like 12. Is this a contest? Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about, like, po I mean, potentiality? If we both live until... Say we both we both magically live until a hundred years old, okay? That's not gonna happen. Well, but if it happens, if we both okay. live until exactly a hundred, yes, we both live until exactly one hundred, like the same exact amount of time. If I don't throw up for the rest of my life, I will have spent, I will have defeated you in throwing up more, like in not throwing up. Yes, that's the word. Is this a life goal? I mean, it can be. I mean, why not? <laughs> I'm, I'm just curious. <laughs> if it's, is this what you're living for right now? Yeah, and it has actually, I've discovered my passion. I finally know what my passion in life is. It's to not throw up for the longest time. To beat me at something. Yeah. I need to beat him at something, and it's gonna be this throw up thing. Uh, Enceladosaurus says, oh, what are you looking at today? Hey, how's it going, Jess? Uh, hey. Today we're looking at diatoms from June Lake in California. And apparently we're talking about throwing up, but uh, mostly we're looking at diatoms. Uh, you know, we've been looking at a bunch of random stuff recently, and I thought we should just get back to our roots and do a little bit of the old thing that we like the most which is diatoms and uh well speaking for myself i don't i don't want to speak for mallory Thank you. she probably i don't know what she likes the most neither do i well we've got that in common uh this is an internal view of the diatom uh 
currently known as Lindavia intermedia. It's a species, I can tell you, and uh, it has many of the characteristic components of Lindavia that you would come to expect if you were familiar with the group, which is uh, the valve face. The internal part of the valve face is covered with these domed cribra on the areoli. And additionally, it has strutted processes with three satellite pores and a cover on them that's basically triangular. So it has these little triangular shaped things. And then these things, which look like salt and pepper shakers, basically, if I can uh, fix the stigmation just a little bit better. I'm going to work on that. Right meow. And see, you can kind of see him here. Just needs a little tweaking. My mother said your passion should be to help me get ready for the holidays. Really? I guess I guess it should be. Should that but be your whole purpose in living? I guess so. Um, Are there enough holidays for that? To keep me going year-round? Probably. I mean, a lot of, you, you'd be surprised how many people just live for decorating their house for the holidays. I feel like that's what keeps them going. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me at all, actually. I mean, it's, she says, it's my short-term passion. I need a long-term one. I have plenty of short-term passions. Um, sex, drugs, rock and roll. As a rock star. Uh, I don't know what's going on anymore. Is I would make a really good rock star, I think, as I think about it. Which part? Well, I can't sing. You, I can't which play part? an instrument very well. I can't... I just want to know which part you think would you'd be good at. The being super cool part. Really? Yeah. Um... <laughs> and Siladosaurus said your face, that reaction. <laughs> <laughs> the stream is acting weird today. It is? It is. Why? I don't know. What do you mean the stream is acting weird? Well... I just got the notification on Discord after we've been streaming for like five minutes. That happens pretty much every time. Oh, can't read. It's just that uh, normally we do a little 10 minute warm up thingy mm. and we didn't today. That's right. Uh, but yeah. Also, I guess my other short term passions are I downloaded this game onto my phone and it's called Alto's Adventure. And basically, you just slide down a ski slope, and there's pretty music in the background, and it's kind of a pretty game. So, I mean, I've got that going for me. I've made it to level three. Out of how many? I have no clue. Oh. Um, but I know it took me a really long time to jump over two rocks in one run, because I kept falling and dying, because you got to do backflips and stuff. It's really difficult. Um, uh, and Siladosaurus says, so are these structures along the cell wall of the diatom or just kind of floating structures inside of it? Oh, well, uh, let me talk a little bit about diatoms. If I can get a, a word in edgewise, you know, around Mallory's video game dialogue. Uh, diatoms are composed of silica um, in terms of their cell wall. So what you're looking at is their cell wall. And um, so this structure that you're seeing the, um, is one valve. Diatoms are composed of two valves that fit together. Some people like to think of it as like a hat box or a pokeball um, or petri dish if you're a science-based person. Sometimes people think of them that way. Um, and really, this is the cell wall. The external wall of the diatom is a skeleton, um, which is a little bit different from many of the um, algae that you're probably familiar with. Um, they don't really have like a rigid outer cell wall. And um, the structures that we're looking at, I'm sorry, I was poking around trying to get them to look nice. And now that they do, um, we can kind of zoom in and talk about them a little bit. So I will put one of these up where we can, uh, can see all of the details. As I mentioned, they look a little bit like salt and pepper shakers, uh, these things right here. 
on the outside of the valve, there's an opening. And on the inside, uh, where that little hole would be, a little round hole would be, the hole is called an areoli. And the covering over top of that areoli, this little salt and pepper shaker head is called a cribra. So um, it's a way for the diatom to interact with the outside world. And then uh, it has these things called strutted processes, which are usually used to um, sort of excrete uh, EPS through the valve out to the outside world. And uh, they use it to sort of build structures to slow or baffle their descent. And then uh, this structure that you're seeing here that looks like a weird little mouth um, is actually called a labiate process um, or um, a rima portula. And um, I'm not totally sure what it's used for. I think it's used to uh, sort of anchor the cellular material and the nucleus so that when it splits, the diatoms mostly uh, reproduce asexually. Uh, and when they split in half, basically, they need to be able to center the nucleus in the middle of the valve. And I think they use these things as sort of an anchor point to, um, to help them link those two pieces together. But they probably have some other uses as well. Um, you know, I'm not a, uh, although I sort of deal with sort of ecological interactions, I'm not really uh, a, like a physiologist for diatoms. Like, I don't really know what all these, how these things totally function. Right. Um, and Salatosaurus says salt and pepper shakers, fidget spinners, and hamburgers. It's a good combination. Yeah. It's like a whole lunch array, really. You eat the fidget spinner? Uh, I suppose not, but I could play with it while I was having lunch. Fidget spinning? They do look a little bit like fidget spinners. That is a good observation. It sounds like you're encouraged. Oh, that's just what they look like, smiley face, yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Look, it's got lines, though. Why do I have lines? Um, I don't like those. They're like bands for living. Bands, if you will. What are you talking about? I said those are growth bands, like on the snail. Oh, these ones? Yeah, the long ones. No, I was getting like artifact lines. Oh. The kind of lines I don't like. <laughs> oh, maybe change my focal height. It is a beautiful snowy day outside. So, yeah, this is just one diatom. And I guess in order to get you uh, sort of situated, I should probably zoom out a little bit so you can see what the field of view looks like. And, um, you know, we were just looking at this one little guy right here. We were zoomed in. Um, one of the nice things about the skinny electron microscope is we can just sort of set the zoom. So when we were zoomed in sort of like this close, we were at about... 22,000 times magnification, and as I zoom out um, to, uh, to sort of a broader and broader view, let's put the beam intensity up and fix the brightness so you can actually see stuff, um, then you get a good sense of um, what we're looking at. So, you know, there's diatoms all over this little stubs, and um, uh, we were just looking at one. That's this one, Lindavia Intermedia. In fact, this is an internal view of that diatom, and that is the external view of that diatom because it's a three-dimensional object. We can look at the inside and the outside of it. Um, on the side, it would look like, you know, like if it were a coin on its side, basically, right? So you can see its cup shape and then um, in the other version of it. Uh, over here, right down here, you can see another diatom. It's similar in shape, but has little spiky uh, spines on it. This diatom is one that I just described, and finally it got published last week. Um, right here, and also right here, this is Stephanodiscus coruscus, and those are the external views of it. Here's another external view of it right here. And uh, there's some other diatoms on here as well, these little tiny ones, which are a different type of Lindavia. And then basically every object you're seeing on here that has sort of a geometrical shape to it is a diatom, not that, that's a piece of junk. So um, as we zoom out, you can get a really good sense of um, sort of the nature of what we're looking at. So the field of view 
um, across this entire field of view right here is 720 microns. So if I zoom out a little farther right to about here, our field of view is one millimeter. So that should give you a good sense. Most people sort of know, you know, the millimeter is the smallest measurement on a typical microscope or a typical ruler, I mean. Um, and that's what our field of view is in both directions. It's me, Foster said, algae are kind of pog champ. <laughs> well, it's a shocked face, but it means pog champ, which I, okay. They're I pog sh champ? I struggle to understand the pog culture. Like, what is that referring to? Pog, pog means cool, I think. Yeah, but like, where's that from? Twitch. Yeah, but like, from what? You'll have to look it up. I don't, I don't know. Oh, a surprise friend. Who's coming in? Hey, what are you doing here? I just made a small favor for you. Uh, okay, can you run this for a second? Mm -hmm. Let's see what he wants. Uh, it's gonna be filter, and I need to see the porosity of it, so I can send the filter for the new sample to Bermuda. We have a visitor. Let's listen in on their conversation because I'm nosy. Now look at this. As we approach Christmas, and we can look at this little diatom right here, you'll see a, a crucifix shape. Um, uh, this is actually the exact cross that uh, Jesus died on, if you're into that. Um, if you're not into that, then it's not. Don't worry what I said. What are you saying? I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? I didn't. I left you for like one minute and to come back and you're doing something subversive. Um, let's see. Look at all these diatoms. Look at that. Okay. Two millimeters. Well, there's a lot going on. Hold on. What's going on? It looks like there are almost arches in the outer ring of the diatoms. And oh, then yes. Del uh, said hi, folks. Hey, Del. Can you give Del a shout out? I already did. Oh. Del said, hey, and then the dog. And I said, A, B, B, what's good? And he said, fine, I guess you are my little pog champ. Come Del here. could tell you all about the pog champ. Yeah, could you explain that, please? A uh, demon said, oh, Ensela, I struggle here. Just call her Jess. No. Ensela Desaurus said, LOL. Demon said, how are you doing, guys? What's up, Demon Plasma? It's Demon Plasma. Hello. Del said, normal, normal. Demon Plasma, howdy, howdy already on it. I mean a little. I only learned what Pog was this year. And so the source that I'm just Jess. And uh, I said no. And then she said XD. Rar XD, my fellow computer person. This is again the, uh, a Stephanodiscus, a different species. This is Stephanodiscus nigeri. And I can tell the species apart because I've studied this sample and can tell you what they are, but also um, from the structure. So if we look on the inside, uh, Stephanodiscus nigeri has a different sort of internal structure than uh, the other Stephanodiscus that we're talking about. And also um, Stephanodiscus caruscus doesn't have valve face photoportula like this on it at all. So if we zoom out a little bit, we're looking at this um, diatom sort of standing on its edge. Uh, which is neat because then you can kind of see into the internal edge of it. You can also see a little bit of the outside of it. it has these long spines that are sticking up. So somebody said, "Oh, the uh, it looks like there's some sort of like chambers on the insides." For Lindavia, they do have a chamber. Uh, this process right here, um, and then you can see there's some strutted processes here. So there's those little uh, fidget spinner type um, uh, photoportula on the valve face that have three satellite pores and you can see they also have them on um, on the valve margins right here so each one of those is a little strutted process and then these little portals are little windows that you can see that go into the inside of the diatom uh, valve are called alveolar chambers and they occur on Lindavia but they don't occur on stuff in a discus so if, uh, you can see that I can very quickly separate them it's because you can see in this field of view here's Lindavia with these big portal sort of uh, alveolar chamber structures here. And then here's a Stephanodiscus, which is basically flat on the inside and just has the strutted processes. Opanzel is here, Del. Is Who's here? Opanzel. Opanzel. I don't know. I said, hey, BB. And then he said, hi. BB? 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 Like, what's, like, like babe, or, but like BB. 
kind of. Like B uh, B B. Like B like what's good BB. What's good BB? Yeah. Is this a thing people say, or is this just something this, you say? This is a thing that people say, uh, but they don't say anymore as of, like, 2016. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to keep on saying Are it. Are we in a time machine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mallory's oh, time machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jan said, hi, Doc. Enjoying the fresh air. Uh, did we have fresh air? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty crisp outside. Oh, it's it's definitely wintry outside. Yeah, there's snow, guys. There's a little bit of snow. Uh, the tiniest little bit of snow is out there today yeah. on the ground. And, and, uh, I'm a little disappointed that we had to stream today because... We didn't um, have to stream today. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> Uh, because some of the snowflakes when they came down were perfect little snowflakes and I was like, I could be doing macro photography right now and getting some really great snowflake shots. cut it short. I mean, s snowflakes will happen. It's winter. I'm I not mean, that worried not about it. longer. You only got, what, like two more <laughs> good years left? Do you mean before I perish or before something else? Are you threatening me? Uh, and Jan showed up and I said, hey, King, and then... Uh, dangling uvula is here. Dangling! You know what, dangling? Uh, how's it going? Um, I thought maybe you'd have to work because we're streaming. Here's, huh? here's an external view of that stuff in the discus Niger. You can see these really long structures sticking out. These are spines. Really long spines around the outside. It's got a spiked collar. That name stuff in a discus actually means a crown of thorns. Uh, or like, like Jesus Christ. Well, <laughs> if you like. Uh, and then you can see it actually has these little tiny spines in between sometimes. Those are actually the um, external expressions of the um, uh, Rima Portula. Those aren't spines. Um, Del says he calls people BB and that it's cool. Good to see some solidarity, my brother. Angling said I left work early so I can play Minecraft. Really? Yeah. She's looking for some diamonds. You know, I have a lot of diamonds in Minecraft. And, uh, you know, I'm willing to share them. Woo. I don't know what you need them for. Insulatosaurus said I have snow today too, just a little. Excellent. No, I don't actually know where uh, where you're based out of. Us. Um, and I don't necessarily think you need to share it with us. But King Charlock is here. He said, hello, hello. How hey, are hey. you, Doc? Hey, Charlock. How's, How's it going? Again, you can see uh, chambers on the inside of this one. So uh, a pretty clear indication to us if we s just use that as a starting point. It's not Stephanodiscus, it's definitely Lindavia. I don't want to give you the impression that all diatoms are round. Uh, they aren't, of course. The ones I've been focusing on have been this uh, little guy over here is also a diatom. This is a diatom. That's Amphora. Um, this little guy is a star Syrah, I think. I have to look a little bit more closely at it, but I think it's star Syrah. And we also have some things that aren't diatoms, like this guy right here. May I guess? Are you going to guess what it is? Is it a chrysophyte? Wow. How did you get that right? Because I know what it looks like. How, though? Because it's round and it has a little Christmas ball. It looks like a Christmas it. ornament. Yeah. It's, it's Christmassy. I look how I called it a Christmas ball. What did I mean by that? Uh, they look like little Christmas ornaments. This is a chrysophyte stomatocyst. And uh, sometimes they're highly ornamented ornaments. I just remember because I took a picture one and then I put it on my Instagram. Well, you, you put it on your Instagram and then I put it on my Instagram and then I made a noise. Wait, no, I put music on top of it. What? Yeah, and it was a good song. I forget what song it was. It was Harry Styles, Lights Up. Good song. Mama Bon, so much has happened. Hold on. Mama Bon Bon said the space snails must be returning. Yes. Space snails? Yeah, I, I actually have to write a whole dissertation on the return of the space snails with the snow. Oh, um, gotcha. It's gotcha, a really gotcha, gotcha. difficult time for me. What's difficult about it? Yeah, that's why you only have a couple more years left for the snow, because they're coming back. Oh, I got it. And they're taking over. 
We're still in your fantasy world. Uh, nothing fantasy about it. Uh, your alternative reality? <laughs> My alternative past. <laughs> Mon said sharing is caring. Uh, What's that got to do with anything, Jans? Huh? And Siladoris said Northern Virginia. Oh, okay. Uh, I used to live in Northern Virginia. Really? I mean, I worked at the United States Geologic Survey, so... Oh. At the National Center. So for a while, I was housed out of Reston, Virginia. Sherlock said it's going well, Doc. My kitty was a bit unwell, so it was oh, a good day for her. That sucks. Also, hey, Mallory, how are you? Uh, Mallory's doing great! I'm doing great, thank you for asking. A little fidgety here and there. Harrow. I, I don't know if she's actually doing great, I just made it, I prefaced it like that. So I'm that actually doing pretty good, my grades came back. Not as bad as I thought they were going to be. I got all A's and then I got a C. <laughs> uh, it's so funny to take a picture of it, I was like, I wonder which class I didn't enjoy. I wonder. Take a shot in the dark. It wasn't mine. Yeah. I know what it was. Hold I on. mean, I don't know that you enjoyed it, but you didn't get a C. Looks like a Christmas ornament. True. Yeah. Anakim said hi. Diatom's attack is Mallor. Diatom's girl here. Hey, Anakim. Um, sorry about lying about the feet fix thing. Um, I hope that's you. Otherwise, the comment that I just made didn't make sense. What feet picks thing? I remember when he, when I, I had six feet for a while there. Like, when you had six that's feet. That's what I associate Anakim with. It's a nice, has a nice side view of Stephanodiscus coruscus, and you can see that it has these nice long spines, but uh, you can see them on both sides of the valve. Isn't that cool? It's like it's standing on its edge. It's like somebody flipped a quarter and it landed like. It looks like a fruit cake. Fruit cake? Yeah, this is a Christmas themed stream. Uh, Christmas is next week. Very exciting. Are you sure? No. Oh. Dates get kind of jumbled together. Um, um well, hold on, they're getting angry at me because I'm going too slow. Okay, Del said I'm doing my usual alert, got work calls. Yeah, it's alright, Del. Said we appreciate you hanging out, though. Thanks, Del. I'm Did you give a shout-out to Encelosaurus? Can you she's do that? A she's a streamer. Oh, I did not know that. I thought it was just like... That's how I know who she is. When people start talking, I just sort of know what, like who they are. Yeah, I struggle with the memory thing. She's, uh, she streams about space and science, and sometimes she just plays cool video games. We raided her last time. Yon said it was a comment on your diamond stock in Minecraft, but Mallory's too slow to read. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Don't send any time-sensitive comments because I don't, I try not to interrupt because it's rude. Sherlock wants to know what your favorite drink is. My favorite drink? Mm -hmm. Chai tea. Does that count? Or did you mean like alcoholic beverage? He said alcoholic or non-alcoholic, but I know you don't drink alcohol, so... On, on Christmas, sometimes I will drink a little alcohol. Uh, and it's only mulled wine. Because uh, that stuff is amazing. It tastes like cinnamon and like fire. Uh, and also it reminds me of the time when I was in Germany, hanging out with my friends from Germany. And they took me to the Christmas market which is a really cool place, you know, really cool sort of thing to do. And uh, they drink wine outside in these like little earthware sort of glasses, ceramic glasses. A place of culture. Um, but it reminds me of my friends, so. Um, Anakin, stay tuned. Let's see how my grades are next semester. Then we'll find out. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Insula Desora said, I am so jealous of how easily you can see different views of the diatoms. With galaxies, we're often just stuck with whatever we find. I have, yeah, I have bad news for you as well. Um, not only can we see different views of the diatoms, our scanning electron microscope can actually do some really cool tricks like tilt and rotate. So, like, if I don't like this view of it and I just want to turn it around, I can just type in some numbers, like... And then it just spins around, and I'm looking at it from the other side. So, um... <laughs> so, uh, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks to be you, huh? Embarrassing. <laughs> look, now we're looking at it from the other side. Hey, look! Here's another chrysophyte cyst, and this one's got little bumps on it. It looks like fallen. It's not. 
Um, that is definitely a Christ of Fight Yeah, I don't know if egg, is eggnog alcoholic. Hey, I like eggnog. I feel like it can be. It doesn't have to be. Uh, usually it's not, but it can be. I mean, you can add rum to it or something if you want, I think. It's a good, uh, it's a good seasonal drink. Who'd you say hi to? Uh, Pacific. Oh. Hello, I missed you. Hi, Pacific Plankton. Table Sleep Mania said hello, and then he highlighted his message, though it's just like a really bold hello. <laughs> it's a bold hello. Hello, let me do that. Yes, Anakin, the SEM can tilt. Yeah, we can tilt the stage. We just usually don't, because... Well, on a stream, we'll have like stuff that we're looking at that's like has a lot of structure. Ooh. Like a mop head. Is Ooh. that a gonfanema? Ooh, you're so close. Uh, give me a hint. A small hint. Barely a hint. I don't think I can give you a hint that will work. Gonfanemoid. Yes, Got it's it. gonfanemoid. Got it. it does not have any isolated puncti or stigma in the central area which means that it cannot be gonfanema and also cannot be gonfanes in fact has to be gonfanella this is the diatom gonfanella ovulacium hey somebody subscribed or something what so was that gifted, um, gifted, uh, five tier one oh my gosh Thank you, Sherlock. That was... Oh, and you got a sub for... Look at the cool... All of the cool subs that went out right there. Ivag, Headless Honk got one. Oh Incetalosaurus got one. Maik! W got one. And Jim... Jim... Jim Yaz got one. And 25 emotes were shared in that. That's amazing. That's like a Christmas present. You know what? You should take advantage of it and use all those cool emotes we have now. Look at all the cool emotes you got. You can do mustachio? I think you can do mustachio now. That's the best. Hindsight 2020. Wow. Oh, they got Mallory's monster, too. So yeah. Mallory's, I'd say Mallory's monster was the turning point for this channel. You mean when it went all wrong? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. I want to... Oh, I just oh, want to turn it a little. And I think I want to go this way. Boop! Oh, I did it right. Um, Opanzel said on a news show, they said... Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What did they say? They said according to a survey on Corona restrictions, 70% missed the Christmas market in mold wine, and only 40% missed meeting their family. That's negative. Um, I mean... That's sad. You can make mold wine with your family. And that's win-win. Um, Anakin, what about the microphone for Mallory? What about it? You don't need to hear anymore. You want me to move it over so you can hear Mallory better? No. She's very low energy today. I'm kind of tired. You're tired? Yeah. Are you tired of me? Tired of the stream? No, just tired in general. Tired of Anakin wanting to see your feet? Yeah, Anakin, you have one more time for my feet. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, I'm just, uh, tired. I don't know. Yeah, pretty sure that's Confinella Ovalacium. Sherlock said that's for your next chai tea, Doc. Oh, thank you. Do you know, um, I'm really sort of a snob about chai tea. Really? Oh yeah, you have to buy, you buy like flakes. No. Like fish. No. Dr. Stone is a fish, confirmed. Um, I don't know what you're talking about anymore, but none of that stuff is write true. Write that down, please. I buy, um, it's, uh, it's like a really strong ginger chai. It's amazing. I mean, if you like ginger. If you don't like ginger, I guess get out of here. Uh, this diatom looks so cool. What's the name again? No, he said it looks so look. It looks so what? Looks so look. Look so look. Instead of look so cool, look so look. We have a new follow. Chips and churros. Make Chips and follow. churros? Chips and churros. Take it in. Wow. I wish I had a churro right now. I haven't had breakfast or lunch. Really? Would I lie about a thing like that? I had Gonfanella. chili. Gonfanella. 
O Oh, Olivaceum. And it kind of Olive says how typing those things. Gonfanella Olivaceum. Jan said, give Mallory a celery. You know, I wasn't a vegetable fan until very recently. And by recently, I mean like a few years now. What, you wouldn't eat vegetables? I wouldn't eat celery. I just want to roll back a little bit in this conversation and talk about how you grew up on a farm. Yeah. Hey, somebody else gave a sub. Oh my goodness. Nope. The same person gave a sub. Sherlock. Sherlock's just going nuts out there. Thank you for the emote. Now I have, um... Look at all these people. Ribozoid, Rolfi, Chips and Churros just joined and automatically got a sub. And that's for your lunch. <laughs> and Adrastior. Do you know, um... Charles Chips... Oh, and Jam Yes cheered 100 bits. We missed it somehow. Look at oh, that. Oh, I didn't see that. And so uh, we just got a new follow. Georgiana. George. That's Glorgan. Georg. Glor is that an L? Is that an L? Glorgana? Yeah, Glorgan. Glorgana? Guess what, Glorgana? You're our 700th follower. Number 700. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for all those, uh, those um, gift subscriptions. Uh, That's very generous. Chemist Cool also joined the Dive from Army. Thank you for that. You can't see me, but I'm giving you like an all-seeing hand. We could point the camera so it looks at you. That's okay. Do you have a, an eye on your hand? It's a fancy ring you got on. Thank you. This uh, diatom, Gonfanella, as I mentioned, doesn't have any um, isolated puncti or stigma in the central area, although it does have these little sort of slightly more open ends right here at the final uh, areole on this stri. But something that's cool is that it's um, it's uh, biseriate. So the stri actually have two holes for each one hole. So that definitely disqualifies it from gomphonema. And then uh, narrows it down to either gomphonis or, as I mentioned, because it doesn't have any stigma in the central area, it has to be gomphonella. Holy sh guacamole. What happened? Headless Honk came in and said, Danke für das. Oh, in German? Geschen, Popo. Now, I'm going to assume that says thank you for the, the subscription. June. I don't speak German. But Danke means thank you. Yeah. Danke, Shane. Um, thank you very much is Earth what that means. Yeah. Very foolish day off. Good movie. This is June. Cinnamon, hello. Oh. Is Mallory depressed? I'm not depressed, actually. I just was very high energy for the last few days. And now uh, I'm like on the other end all of, these, yeah. of being high energy. I can talk about it, if you like. <laughs> she hadn't washed her feet today. Thank you for the feet comments, Anna Kim. Yeah, Anna Kim. it's not creepy at all. Jan's explained, guest shank equals gift, abo equals subscription. Oh, there you go. I have a geshing. I have an abo. Uh, geshing abo. I have a pen. I have an apple. <laughs> you really are stuck in 2016. <laughs> There's a little navicula. Reddit room said show me. Is it a navicula? Yeah, it's a navicula. The stri are lineally. And then it's boat shaped. So the genus for that would be Navicula. I don't know what the species is for that one off the top of my head. There's a little piece of a tabularia right there. Tabularia and you know amphora. Tabularia from my meal? Uh, I don't know. Old men's knees. What? You know. Don't talk about my knees. You're not an old man. Yeah, I am. You're almost an old man. As soon as you reach an old man status, you, you know, kids get off my SEM. <laughs> uh, this is June. Um, this is a Asterionella, Formosa. Aw, Charlotte. What happened? Thank you. He said he gave fifteen hundred uh, cheers. Oh. This one's for Mallory. Get some drink to cheer you up. Aw. Jan said, Sherlock, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's giving away his estate. <laughs> Thank you, Sherlock. That's really sweet. Super nice. 
I'm, um, I'm promise I'm not in the dumps or anything. I mean, if it gets a sub, she's in the dumps. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on stream instead of like being like overly peppy I am so sad unbearably <laughs> she just seems sad because I'm always so bubbly yeah it's the comparison <laughs> yeah when you hear my voice and it's like yeah British, she's sad very sad this is a this is a cool diatom what did Trump say today really sad exclamation <laughs> point that was a tweet yeah, I, I would read it out loud, but... Please don't. I won't. People can read it on their own. Really? Unless you're going to do it... Know how to read? Unless, I guess unless you're going to do it in a Trump voice. Then we could hear your impersonation. Or impression. Oh, it's another cool diatom. It says... Uh, given that sub gets her sad, I want my subs back. Yeah, <laughs> the more subs you do, the sadder I get. It's actually... Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I should point out, I will take this opportunity to point out that subscriptions to our channel do not go into my pocket, but instead come back into the lab and go to help pay for my students' uh, research projects and also um, some of their, uh, their time, so some of their research time. So I uh, give some of my students have a salary for example like mallory and uh, it does actually go to pay for her salary I have so salary. she also eats celery i do now i've grown as a person but only with peanut butter no i don't eat peanut butter she, I they have to slather it with peanut butter and then she'll eat the celery wait <laughs> they, they they want to hear uh they want to hear me do a trump impression and you do a biden impression no thanks. Um, I will not do a Trump impression, but what I will say, I'll, throughout the stream from now on, I'm just going to say sad at <laughs> appropriate times. <laughs> <laughs> like if Dr. Stone disagrees with me, sad. <laughs> Breaded shrimp, boo, don't give Mallory any. Yeah. Don't give me shit. I mean, shoot. No, I was good for so many days. Oh, that's the coconut ball one. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is uh, Lindavia ocelata. And uh, the sort of traditional ocelata looks like a button. It has three little holes. They can have up to like nine little holes like that. They're not really holes. They're depressions. Um, and then usually they have little bumps like this guy right here. But it's missing off of these two on the outside of it and it's covered with some little granules that's what these little bits of silica are out here that are kind of standing up that are bright but you can see um, there right there is the external expression of the rim of portula so if we we're looking at the inside this would be like what the little thing that looks like a mouth would be on the other side of that and those little holes the bigger ones that are on the outside here um, at the end of a stri so you can see here's a or rather a, a costi uh, at the end of each one of these costi, uh, a little hole, a bigger hole, and those would be the strutted processes. So that's the external expression of the strutted process. You'll also note that it's missing spines because Lindavia do not make spines. So that's another way for us to very quickly tell that we are looking at a Lindavia, or some people put this one in Pantachechiella, but I still call it Lindavia, um, rather than Stephanodiscus or Cyclostephanos or something like that or Fasten Orbis or any of this uh, sort of similar um, round diatom. So here's another round diatom. This one, as I mentioned, is Lindavia, but it's not Ocelata. And we can tell that because if we look at the valve face, it's mostly clear and just has one little dot. So uh, this is very likely Commensis or I guess it could potentially be costii. It's very small. Um, yes? They said stuff. <laughs> Who said stuff? Uh, Cinnamon said, you mean snacks for research peers? Snacks would be a great 
addition to the lab. You know, we had a snack drawer. Um, it's got snacks in it right now. But We're not allowed to eat snacks in the building currently. Really? I mean, because coronavirus. I all in the building in the last year. You would never break those rules. I've never eaten in here before. Um, honestly. Truly, honestly. Uh, Sharlock says, does this mean I'm indirectly employing Mallory? Well, if you pay taxes in the state of Indiana, anyone who pays taxes in the state of Indiana, I believe, is indirectly employing me. Look, it's, a, it's like a... Look, it's, a monster. It's... <laughs> I don't think it's a monster, but... <laughs> It's a diatom inside of a diatom. It looks like a frog. But That's like a diatom. Me. And there's another one inside of it. <laughs> and it's facing the wrong way for that. You know, when they form inside of each other, they form like this way, not like that way. Yeah. So He's it just actually different. just landed inside of there and got stuck that way. Just like coincidentally fit perfectly into the space oh inside. God, I get more sorry. Sorry. Okay, hold on. What hold are you talking on. about? Talking. Anakin said, is that legal? Sherlock said, I'm sure we can bend the rules. Anakin said, that's what rules are for. Reddit Shrimp would like to employ both Rihanna and I. Why doesn't anybody want to employ me? Are you already employed? Shh. Yawns. Depression's just like Mallory's feels bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget about Eleanor. Yeah, yeah, don't forget about little Eleanor. I should be getting a Christmas card from her soon. So yeah, I'm pretty important. I gave you a Christmas card. You did? Yeah, you didn't look at it. No, you didn't. I did. When? Definitely you got one. What? You sent me your font for your Christmas card. Mm -hmm. I sent you a Christmas card. In the mail? No. What? It's on your desk. It's why I haven't been to my desk today. That's what I'm saying. You didn't look at it. Uh, um, Sherlock said, I understand some of those words regarding when you were talking about the diet pump. Oh, you do? He said he definitely understood the ums and some other words. <laughs> uh, well, any words that you would like me to try to sort out that aren't um, just let me know. And I will try to do my best to describe what those things are. Uh, I'll read these and then I'll read the real questions. Um, they said like, it's a lot cheaper to employ Mallory compared to you. Breaded Shrimp says I can't afford to pay Dr. Stone. And then Anakin asked, is that any surface feature the SEM can't show despite being big enough? Is there anything damaged by gold plating? No. Uh, gold plating happens at the... Atomic level. It's basically at the atomic level. I mean, we're putting on angstroms of gold. So right now we're looking at things at the... Um, you know, this is in the micron scale, an angstrom would be like, you know, we'd have to go down to nanometers and then below nanometers would be angstrom. So uh, in two orders, it, so let's see, that's six orders of magnitude smaller than we can really see. But um, because it's deposited on the outside of the diatoms through this process of sputter coating, where it goes from being in a plasma cloud to, you know, basically being a... Um, attached to the surface of things there's not really any damage that it does it just sort of um you know think of it as sort of like a dusting of gold um except for we're already at the dust size particles so you know like smaller than dust um it would be like saying if i uh if i rolled my uh french toast in powdered sugar does it do any damage to the french toast you know no uh, it just makes it more delicious. Uh, Ooh, that's really sharp. It looks sharp, man. Uh, an angstrom is like a hydrogen diameter? Yes. Half an angstrom is the radius, so an angstrom would be a diameter, a full one would be. Somebody's over there giving us chemistry facts. Yeah. Finally putting that degree to use. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. This diatom is a... Cirrella. Breaded shrimp said, I don't think diatoms get freaky with each other, do they? They do. Uh, diatoms undergo asexual reproduction most of the time. And when they do, they get smaller and smaller. 
and then they reach some sort of minimum threshold and after that point they're um, capable of switching to sexual reproduction they don't necessarily always do it sometimes they don't feel like it but uh, when they do then diatoms will split open and some will become uh, gametes what's happened Oh, you gasped that's like there was some sort of a, something exciting over there. And in fact, no. it's just like a cabinet that needed to be dramatic. closed. Now hold on now. Uh, so when they get small enough, you know, each one sort of forming inside of the other makes each generation a little smaller. When they get down to a certain size threshold, then they can switch to sexual reproduction and they will just pop open some of them and become male. And then some of them will be female and get essentially impregnated by that. So uh, when that happens, they form what's called an oxyspore, which is sort of like an egg uh, and it grows and it reaches the full size of the species and then it gets solicified. And then the diatom starts splitting again and goes back to asexual reproduction. So uh, they can get freaky. Occasionally it is time to put on the business socks and do a little business, but most of the time it's asexual. Uh, Sarlacc said, so basically you're tinkerbelling these stuff? Explain that a little bit more. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not familiar with tinkerbell as a verb. Really? You f familiar with her as a noun? I used to play Pixie. Tinkerbell is a pretty famous figure. Really? What in Walt Disney movies. No, I used to play, uh, Disney's Pixie Hollow, like the online game. Kind of like The Sims, but there's like other nine-year-olds playing alongside with you. And How is that different? Well, The Sims you just play on your... Like, on oh, your you own. don't play with other people? Yeah, it's not an online game. Oh. To an extent, I guess. Um, I thought other people played in Sims. They don't? No, you just play by yourself. They're all like NPCs on there. But uh, I played on Pixie Hollow all the freaking time. And then I told this one other fairy, she was saying some rude stuff. A online. fairy? Well, she was a, probably a little girl on the other side of the country or something. There was a nine-year-old telling you off? Yeah, she was telling like me rude stuff, but she was saying it in a polite way, so she didn't get reported for violating the contract. So I told her to shut up, and I got kicked off of Disney Pixie Hollow because I told some girl, shut up. Wait a second. This was not on your job application when you applied to work in my lab. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you've been disingenuous about something. You got you got, you were summarily dismissed from Pixie Hollow for trash talking a six year old? <laughs> to be fair, I was also six. <laughs> um, hold on, I missed some things. Yeah, you did. <laughs> uh he was Sharlock is quitting some things. It looks sharp, and then he said, you look sharp, Doc. And then he said, Chem chemistry degree to use in the Twitch chat. Uh, sometimes they don't feel like it. Exactly the reason I don't do reproduction, too, feels bad. I mean... <laughs> Anakin said, do it asexually. I mean... Sometimes you don't feel like it. <laughs> just... We're just, not judging you. Just evolve. Just evolve so like your arm breaks off and it turns into another you. Be better. You said you were dusting gold particles or something close yeah. to that, hence tinkerbelling. Oh, yeah. oh, gotcha, gotcha, like glittery or whatever. No, first of all. Tinkerbell. The dust fairies, Tinkerbell was not a dust fairy. Tinkerbell was a tinkering fairy. and she We hit a nerve, <laughs> folks. Dang. She made things with You know pickles. what's going to happen next. Mallory's going to go off on you about what Tinkerbell was like. And then she's going to get banned from Twitch for <laughs> trash-talking people about Tinkerbell. Told a six-year-old to shut up, thug life. Yeah. Yeah. She's a total thug. I would say I'm... Look, I even got a ring. So when I punch people, it leaves like a little uh, flower mark. <laughs> uh, this diatom. <laughs> not to interfere with your thug life displays of dominance in the channel uh, is a diplonese. That's an internal view of the diatom diplonese. And uh, 
a favorite in our household. Diplonese? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen a lot of those. At least 10. At least? At least, yeah. Definitely. At a minimum, 10. Uh, Sherlock said, be better. That is what my dad used to say to me about other things. Uh, oh. And he was right. Oh. Is your dad Ivana Trump? Trump? Be best. Oh, that's be best. Yeah, yeah. I, I was close. I'm very familiar with the uh, anti-bullying campaign. Look at this cool yes. stuff. Look at this cool stuff on the inside. You know... Those areoli are super neat. I don't... It definitely looks different out of the SCM than with the, um... The light microscope. Like, the pictures that I'm looking through for the landmark analysis. Mm-hmm. It looks like they have like more lines, like actual indentations, and these ones are just like, yeah, I got curves. It's diplomies are pretty gosh darn curvy. Uh, I don't think they like to have you talk about them that way. Well, first of all, I do as I please. Uh, breaded shrimp, or sorry, dangling uvula. I don't think you can rebrand yourself this late in the game. Oh no. Have you ever gifted your wife a microscope? Me? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, but my wife is a diatomist, and she probably would like it if I got her a microscope. It's just that they're expensive. And uh, I feel like she would see it if I bought it. Either in the house or, like, on the bill. And then she would be like, why did you just buy this? Hey, here's another chrysophyte. And this one's got the ornament hole right here. Nice. We could nice. hang that one. We could hang it if we had a tiny, tiny little Christmas tree. And then we could hang, hang it on there with the <laughs> micro manipulator. You, you sound like a little kid who like has an idea, but you're not sure if it's a good one. So you like, maybe we can, maybe we can like hang it on a, on a tree. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Sherlock, you're out of pocket. Crawl back in. What? Nothing. He said, uh... <laughs> Sherlock, do you have a wife? He, She's he, asking for a friend. Ask, yeah, asking for a friend. Hey, here's another silica thing that's it's not a diatom. It's a sponge picule. Look at how good you are at this. Thank you. This is my attempt to compliment you. You're doing great at identifying objects today. You're doing great at identifying objects you've seen thousands of times before. It's a first for you. <laughs> You're doing great. Mallory, I'm from the Middle East. Having multiple wives is normal. That's good. Uh... But do you have any? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she was asking. I'm not talking about averages. <laughs> she wants to know, is the total above zero? So, uh, as I mentioned, what's kind of cool about this sample is the these little stuff, to me anyway, is that these little stuff and discus that are on here are ones that I have described. So, and when I say I've described them, I mean scientifically I've identified them as new species, and then I put the name on them. Really? I named it. Really? I did that. What did you name it? Stephan discus caruscus. Can we have like an open discussion about the fact that you have naming power of things and you don't name it something stupid? Yeah, we can talk about that. It is so important to me to name it some. When we get into the Aphrosimbella thing, I know we've already decided all of them, but on the off chance like another one is found, please just let it be a stupid name. Just something so dumb. It doesn't make sense. Do something you see this? Do you see this? Do you know what? Fetus. No. Yes. Here's your chance to guess something. And I'm really, you had a chance to go with those are butt cheeks and you said fetus? Because it doesn't look like a fetus looks at like all. A, look, a it couple, looks like butt cheeks. It's like a couple week old fetus, yeah. Butt cheeks. No. If butt, butt cheeks. Look, if, your, if your butt looks like this that. This is TOS. The, we're right? potentially in the TOS realm right here. Yeah. Butt cheeks. Well, yeah. What are those? What is it? Are you asking me, like, seriously? Yeah. Can I have a hint? You've, you've given it as an answer before and you Is were wrong. No. I was wrong. Yeah, you were wrong when you gave it as an answer before. Oh, is it pollen? It's pollen. Oh. That is pine pollen. Pine pollen? Yeah. Oh, they had a field day. 
Do you know? Uh, do you know what the genus name for pine is? Pine. You're so close. Pinus. That is actually it. I almost said. I almost said something else. Do you know what they say in uh, in Europe instead of pinus, though? That's right. <laughs> they pronounce it with an e sound instead of an i sound. The Europeans are a bit much for me. Don't they, Jan? I'd be like, I can't believe you call that Pinus. Its name is Penis. External view. Sharlock. Sharlock is refraining from answering whether or not he has a wife, so I kind of... Mm. gonna have to take that as an answer, so... I mean, it's a kind of answer. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> Sharlock doesn't have multiple wives. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> is it? Yeah, if I were Sharlock, I would have multiple wives. I switched stubs, but we're still looking at June Lake. So I just moved over because I thought, oh, we've seen a lot of that stuff. Why don't we go look at this crazy thing? Oh my gosh, what is on my arm? What's wrong with your arm? I have a scab! All right, this one should come in focus and be kind of cool. Oh. 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 May it I is cool. Wait, did you already say what it is? I did not. May I guess? Yeah, why not? Can you zoom out a little bit? Uh, hmm. Is it one of the two that I hate that I always get stuck between? No. Darn it. Would I know what it is? I mean, you had a class on this with me this semester. Don't, don't answer like that. <laughs> I feel like you could know what it is, Can but you probably hint? don't. Can I have a hint? What does it start with? A C. C? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done for. Would it help if I zoomed in on the striae? Because the striae are absolutely spectacular on this diatom. Like, stunning. I'm gonna do it. Look at those. Oh, ooh, Look at that bad boy. Look at those. Probably something with a cross or Christ or Jesus. It always comes back to Jesus, doesn't it? No. Diatoms are actually directly uh, evolved from Jesus. Look at those little X-shaped striae. Man, or areoli. Those things are so cool. This thing is tiny like super tiny that is a two micron view and it's up here right in chinese characters look at that thing it looks kind of more like kanji to me okay japanese characters if you like yeah. are you gonna guess god no I you want me to tell you <laughs> please this is symbol plura no what is this you got it wrong! Symbo... Is it Symbo Plura? Pick it up and put it on the FDM. Symbo Plura. One wife is way too much, let alone multiple. I already get told I'm wrong and I don't have a wife. I don't need multiple people telling me I'm wrong. I mean... Um, looks like Kanji to me, we've confirmed. Yeah, I... I'm the biggest weed in the building. Yawns aside. Look, it starts going... It starts off with linear late stride and they turn into X's. Right there. The evolution of... Uh, Symboplura. Used to be Symbella. Yeah, Jesus disintegrated and became diatoms. This is a religious channel. <laughs> no. I feel like there's some inaccuracies in that statement. Symboplura. There's another one over here somewhere. I saw two of them. See the shape? Like a mouth? Oh, here it is. There's a Simba Plura. There's a little ropaloia like thing. What about this one? What about this one? Am I supposed to guess it? I feel like you should just know this one. Uh... Hang on. Oh, can't get the focus perfect. First thing I hear on this stream is this is a religious stream. Yeah, no, it's not. No. We're looking at diatoms. Sherlock has to go. Oh, man. Bye, buddy. Sherlock. Hope you find your dad. Thank you for all the subs, and thanks for hanging out with us today. You know, looking at diatoms. It was great. This is Starnice. That one is Navicula. This one is 
Animastus. Animastus. Animastus? Yeah, Animastus Restratus. Oh. Restrat Restratum. Can you pull up one that I definitely know so I can look smarter? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I got a fan in the audience. What's this one right here? Right here. Oh my god, I thought you were trying to look smart. <laughs> I literally just, why did I name this species? You're like, is that Eric Estrada? Is this <laughs> Chips? Oh no, it's an A. Starts with an A. It's not. It's not Eric Estrada because that starts with an E. this thing come on now i know what it is i know what it is i just don't know how to say the name you know how to say it you just don't remember it no i know it starts with an a it's the can one it's the one that uh that uh addison always said because i could remember addison a name she always says that one uh, uh, what's the next letter you that didn't help at all i didn't <laughs> want to say a static start again when you it is Alakasira, correct. That is Alakasira ambigua. I was about to say ambigua, because that's what it always is. It's not always ambigua. Well, it is. Mm. Well. I'm going to go well, with no, it's not. Uh, Kilthon, hello, Kilthon. Hey, Kilthon, how's it going? How you been? It says turning on, this, on closed captions is coming with some odd stuff. Yeah, it does. It's because Mallory talked funny. Yeah. She talked funny. <laughs> you should. We were looking at the closed captions before the stream started, and uh, it came up with some interesting stuff. I thought. I think it was like Demon Slayer at some point. It. Uh, it was funny because she would read the captions out loud, and then it would screw up what she was reading as well. So, but. Um, Something's better than nothing, I guess. Maybe it would do better if I didn't have a mask on. I don't know. But uh, it's captioning. It can only do so much, you know? Don't judge it. This is Stephanodiscus nigeri, and laying on top of it is a little Lindavia. The internal view of this one and the external view of that one. And this is some silt. So silt is, this, uh, you know detritus a small particle and it's a size range a size fraction and in this case uh you know it's dust basically so you sort of dust and then diatoms are also basically dust sized uh this little guy right here is an epithemia epithemia have really cool external My structures how do i fix that um, open them. Well, listen, they were open for a while there. I this feel like opening them would be the primary way for you <laughs> to see through them. The last thing you heard was, this is Stephanie Biscuits, Nigeria. I lost the CC after that. Stephanie, <laughs> Stephanie Biscuits? I'm going <laughs> to, you know, uh, that's, a pre that's what the closed captioning called it. <laughs> Stephanie Biscuits. Uh, the Nigerian Stephanie Biscuits, not the uh, European one. Stephanie. Stephanie Biscuits. Yeah. It's so close. It's doing the best it can. It's got a lot of diatom terminology to deal with. And, uh, Stephanie Biscuits is Stephanie Biscuits. I will say this, though. <laughs> um, you know, I... I type diatom names on my phone and it autocorrects to the correct spelling for the genus. Well, do you add them into your... No. Unadded. It's from typing it so frequently. I will start to type Stephanodiscus and it will auto... You know, it will auto... -le it won't come back with Stephanie Biscuits. I misspelled Pseudostar Pseudostarosiris so many times on my final project. Yeah. Well, you saw that? I thought I fixed them all. Comrade Bubbles. Hello, Comrade. Hey, Comrade. This is Animastus. I think it's Animastus Rostrata. It took it as Pseudo Stars Cyrus and Stuff in a Discus. Stuff in a Discus. Uh, 
we should just come up with cool names based on what the closed captioning calls stuff and then just use those. Damascus Rose Strata. <laughs> stuff in a discus. It's full of stuff. Yeah, cool. My, my, my friend Look yeah. at all these Alaka Syra. Wait, what's that one book? It's a maybe? lot. My friend. Oh. It was not as funny as I thought it was going to be. Well, that always happens with you. Yeah. Enceladosaurus is back from a meeting. What'd she oh. miss? Welcome back. You didn't miss much. Uh, I'm sorry, you even had to go to a meeting. It sounds like it was short, though. If you're able to come back what? from it. Look at this. Oh, super cool. You know what else is super cool? Um, my mom. I was gonna say your mom, but then she started in on that you being a holiday decorator primarily, and I decided. Work meetings are almost never useful. What's that? Yeah, I'm with you on that one. This is an internal view of Anumastis rostrata. Again, a diatom, but a really, you can really see this sort of intricate nature of the diatom inside of these little openings are the sort of uh, opposite of what we were seeing before you know we were looking at stephanodiscus and we had sort of like a salt and pepper shaker on the inside and these ones really have it sort of on the outside or it's kind of in the middle between inside and outside but you can see it from the inside here they're kind of domed and the structure is just super neat and I'm going to try to get a nice overview picture of it but I first need to uh, get things in a little bit better focus. So I'm just going to play with it a little tiny bit here and see if I can fix the stigmation just a little bit more. Looks pretty good. I can fix the stigmation a little bit. I always feel like I could fix it just a little bit better. And then I'm going to zoom out. Not that far. So we can see that sort of p cool pattern that it has. Um, and then I'm going to slow the beam down so that it gives us a nice high resolution image of it. What a cool picture. And auto contrast and brightness. So it's, it's going to give us a nice clean image that's dark. So I can modify it, and then I want to color this one later and put it on the Instagram page. Because I think it looks that cool. That is a cool looking view of the inside of this Animastus. Boom. You know what should have gone on the Instagram page but didn't go on the Instagram page? I'm all ears. What is it? I don't but, remember. There was a picture that I really liked that I took, but it didn't make it. It didn't make the cut. You know, you could ask. No. Or not. <laughs> I'm fine with either way. Uh, it, it heard all ears and turned it into all ears. All, all ears. Did you say owl ears? Ollie, O-L-L-I-E-R-S. All ears. All ears. Which I mean is right, and then it just heard all ears now. When it you heard, said- It heard me say all ears. And then it corrected, said you say all ears. I did say all ears though. Why did you say all ears? Because that's what you said. I was <laughs> pronouncing what you said. What I thought you said is owl ears. You know, they're not really ears. Ooh. No. Listen to me. The first time you said all ears, it heard all ears. I feel like we're on a dark <laughs> path here. There's a, a slight lull in the conversation as I take this picture, because people are probably just so stunned by um, Anu Mastis. Anu. 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 Hang on. 
Space snails mind control. Oh, you've got mind control? Yeah. That's the worst. I, I want the space snails saga to be a part of the lore. You? I want it to be known that I do have um, a PhD in space snailology. And one day, one day I'm going to hijack the stream and I'm just going to sit here. No SEM, no nothing, no science. Just me sitting here explaining how the space snails came upon the, the glaciers. What is that? There. That's the diatom that we're looking at right now. This is what, if you click on that link, it'll take you to the website diatoms.org, which is um, a resource for North American diatoms. And uh, you can see the diatom that we're looking at to species. Uh, but the view that you'll see in that is the um, light microscope view. So if you were looking at this at 1,000 times magnification in a light microscope, uh, this is the way that it would look. And we are, of course, looking at it in a scanning electron microscope. Hey, day tripping. Thank you for the follow. Um, so right now we're we're actually looking at an internal view. In the light microscope, it's really kind of hard to tell whether you're looking at the internal or external view because light passes through the diatom skeleton, and as a result, you're primarily looking at sort of an X-ray. And hey, Sarah, dance painter. How you doing? Uh, I had something in mind for you, Sarah. Uh, we were looking at something that you asked about, and I just totally forget uh, what it was, but I, th I thought about it. Um, it should definitely be something that we we look at, a diatom that was an option uh, that you seem to like, I think. So this is a new mastus, and I think it's Rostratus. Pretty cool view. I am gonna be right back. Okay. You should grab that uh, Christmas card while you're out. Oh, that's not gonna go do. How did you go? Oh. I thought maybe you're just going to the bathroom. I don't know. So now I can't read the chat. This is your time to. Uh, Mallory's not here. So if you would like me to make me famous and you happen to be a robot and you're, uh, you're following the channel, here's the time where you should deliver your secret message on how I could become famous. And probably nobody could do anything about it. Um, I'm sure lots of people would like to become famous and are just waiting for a robot to give them that information. So now's your chance, you know, make it work. Down here, sponge picule. More diatoms, more diatoms, uh, all the same. This one here is a different species. This is a navicula. This is navicula oblonga. This is an internal view. And if I zoom in, you'll be able to tell that it's a navicula because the, uh, the striae in here, if we look at them very closely internally, we'll have little lines going across them. Huh. See? I can predict what's going to happen because I know what this thing looks like in the light microscope and uh, it has little lines going across them. So I'm going to make an adjustment for the light contrast and brightness and then we'll be able to see those lines really clearly. Um, when I first started learning diatoms, this is one that I regularly got wrong because it looks a lot like another genus, Pinularia, and if you're not paying very close attention and you don't see these little lines, or if your microscope isn't good enough and you don't see these little lines, you might think it's um, a Pinularia, a similar appearing diatom, but um, that is definitely a navicula. Those are lineolate striae. That's a characteristic of the genus navicula, uh, among others, but um, for diatoms that have this sort of canoe shape or boat shape, if they have that structure, it's almost always navicula. What's going on? I'm a runner. Oh, you ran? I did run. The whole way? Yeah, it's called being athletic. Is it? No. I would like to know. I'm preparing for the Olympics. Ow. Is there an Olympics um, that you would, if you were going to do the Olympics? If I were 
Olympics? No, not win the Olympics, because I don't think you can do that as a person. But, like, if you were... <laughs> you think I can win the Olympics? I don't think you can. I can win. You could maybe you win guns? one event. I've seen your guns. Not a, not all of them. I've seen them under your shirt. But I'm assuming from the way that they bulge that... They're pretty ginormous, right? That you would take my tickets to the gun show yeah, instead of using your own. That's what I would assume. You're not going to read that. Sarah said it's not that long of a hallway. Don't tell them that. They don't know how long the hallway is. Oh, is uh, the other Sarah here? Uh, sorry, the source. Hey, other Sarah. We're both Sarahs in the channel right now. Two Look at this guy. Two Sarahs and they're both Sarahs. We have Comrade Bubbles wants to know what the lines mean. Which lines? Yeah. I need to know which lines you're talking about. Um, this line right here that runs along the valve in the middle is known as the Rafi. This is so sweet. That's how the diatom moves around. And these little lines right here that cut across it, these are lineulations in the stride. That's areoli that are puncti that are opening to the outside world. And for these diatoms, it's probably how they have some sort of exchange. Um, so they're sort of pulling in nutrients and pumping out waste through these little tiny holes um, in their in their cell wall, probably. And then, uh, what's going on over there? It's so cute. I like the little artwork and the note. Well, uh, what do you think? I work really hard on it. Yeah. And I like, uh, um, cramped my hand. I have notes as far back as when I was like 10. Like just generic cards. I mean, I enjoy them, I think they're nice, but like, when someone writes me like, a handwritten note on a card or something, I'll keep it forever. When I, I used to, like before we had email, and I, I used to live in New Mexico, uh, while I was getting my master's in New Mexico, I would write all of my friends, like handwritten letters, yeah. and then on the outside of the envelopes, I would do these really intricate drawings, and of course, that's sort of where I kind of developed my handwriting and uh, lettering, I mean. And then, uh, and I would draw all these sort of really intricate um, artwork on the outside of the envelopes and then I would mail them to them. And I completely forgot that it, what they were on them because I just drew them, you know, they, were, they weren't exactly doodles, but there was like, you know, things I was just drawing. And, um, one, one of my friends, when I came home after I'd finished my master's, had like an entire drawer full of letters from me with all of the artwork on there. It was really cool to see it because I had totally forgotten that I drew any of it. Um, and then email came along and just ruined my whole plan for like writing letters to people. I still write letters. I love them so You've much. never written me a letter. You didn't even Do you want me, me to write you a letter? I, mean, I don't think you've even written me, like, a note. Okay, that's not true at all. I've written, like, tons of notes. I don't think that's true. I've left notes all around the lab. Those aren't for me. They're for everyone. They're like, it's don't drop cookies note. on the floor. Community service, if you will. That's not for me. I wasn't dropping cookies on the floor. I didn't... I never wrote that note. That was a, ver that was a verbal <laughs> altercation. <laughs> <laughs> not with me, though. You were present. The way you just... Guys, I'm not going to explain the entire situation, but imagine the first time I ever have to, like... <laughs> the first time I ever had to exert some kind of, like, power, I guess. And Dr. Stone just sits there and does this. No words, just watches me struggle. <laughs> I didn't want to... I didn't want to submarine your authority by stepping over top of you. I wanted them to recognize that I recognized your authority. <laughs> and after a while of like listening to us talk, you just turned around and walked. You had it under control. I know, it was just so funny at the time. I don't even know why that's funny. It was funny to me. I was showing my support. I feel like if I'd have stepped in... And the, the faces you made, it was back before we were, before like... I feel like if I, I feel like if I would have stepped in, it would have undermined your authority, and they wouldn't listen to you anymore. We had to bring down the hammer. 
That was fun. Anyway. I don't know what you wanted me to do. I didn't want you to do anything. It's just funny thinking about it, you know? I don't know. Uh, a lot happened on my, my run. Oh, while you were running? I yeah. told them that that was their chance to make me famous. Zap Nom McCase one. Thank you for the follow. Oh, there was also, a follow? thank you for the exercise in, on phonics. Um, I told them if they were a robot, it was their chance to make me famous by posting a link. Okay. Because you were gone. <laughs> did we get any of those? We didn't. Dang. But how am I going to get famous now? Kaelthon says she's not an Olympic spinner then. An Olympic sprinter. An Olympic spinner. An Olympic sprinter. She's not even an Olympic speaker. Yeah. <laughs> Mountain spiny lizards. Oh, neato. We got any math people working in a field that relates to math? Um, I am. You don't work in a field related to math. I'm true. All fields are related to math. Well, I'll grant you that. <laughs> That's uh, another Simba Plura. Enceladora said, you said one of my magic summoning words, math. Then I explained oh. your astrophysics background. Ooh. I didn't know we could summon her on command. I'm just going to say math whenever I feel Addition. like talking to her now. Calculus. Is there like special ones? Comrade Bubbles would like to see your drawings. All of them? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, there's a place where you could buy some of my drawings. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Remember when I said RD instead? <laughs> and Yawns asked how I turned the, the B around. Well, <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. Crafty space nails. Oh, we're so close to being good. I need to fix it. Sara said that you have faith in me. That's good. Oh, when talking about authority. Subvert authority by going over her head. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, like, you know, take it away from her. Yeah. External view. This is Lindavia Intermedia, a diatom. We are looking at diatoms today from June Lake. June Lake, California is the subject of... Um, several papers that we published this year and we're about to publish some more papers on it um i hope so uh over the past two years i've been working with dr mike mcglue at the university of kentucky on um well i guess it's more like four years now on june lake and he had a PhD student and a master's student that both worked on June Lake that I um, was involved in helping them with the research. And um, this is just one sample from a very long series of 300 samples that we collected from a core and then also oh, no. some surface samples from the modern lake where... Um, just what? Nothing, I'm talking to myself. Okay. Uh, where his student at, um, at the time, Laura, was working on uh, the diatom record and I was training her on how to identify diatoms. And um, we ran into this guy right here, which is the stephanodiscus that I described. And I was like, yeah, I don't know what that is. And we couldn't find it. In, um, initially, we thought it was uh, a diatom that had gone extinct. We thought it was... Uh, Stephanodiscus clamathensis, and it's very, very closely related to, we think, based on its exoskeleton, its structure, ultrastructure, um, to Stephanodiscus clamathensis, but um, that was supposed to have gone extinct in the, about a million years ago, and um, so it didn't make any sense that we were seeing something that, sort of like uh, celiacanth, and, you know, this ancient fish that supposedly was gone and they found a living fossil of it. So for a while I was really excited about it because I thought, oh, we've got this diatom that's supposed to be extinct, that is supposed to have died off a million years ago or, or more. And here we have it living in this lake. And then when I looked really closely at the samples, when you look at the internal view of this diatom, uh, it's missing some components that are supposed to be there. Um, on the valve face, and one of those is a valve face photoportula, so there's no photoportula on the valve face for this one. Um, it's not totally in focus right there, but 
Um, if it were Klamathensis, there should be two, and we had zero. And every one that I looked at, just like this one, doesn't have any. So uh, we realized that it was just something that was probably a descendant from Klamathensis. And as a result, we had to describe a new species. So that was kind of cool. Um, that paper just was published last week. And uh, if you're interested in it, I think I posted a link to it on our Discord channel. I put the Discord in there. But you I did. I spelled Discord, so I said Discrod. You put the Discrod in Discord. That's like a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I was intrigued that it got the name Mike McGlue. It got it right? Yeah. Well, because Mike's famous. Well, it didn't capitalize the McGlue. Like, it just, like, that's just a word, I guess. McGlue is just a word? Yeah, I don't know. It knows the word McGlue? I guess so. Huh. Um, well, that's interesting. Sarlosaurus said that the, that was a cool diet, huh? Comrade yeah. Bubbles said, why do water bears look cuddly? Why do they look cuddly or ugly? Cuddly. Cuddly. Well... Um, you know, one of the things that sort of makes a water bear stand out is that they, they look like they're a little baby, uh, you know, like there's, especially when they get stuck on their back and they can't get flipped over, they look like a little baby. And I think they look like also somebody put the baby in a very heavy winter coat, That's puffy, fun. very puffy. I like it when they look puffy. And, uh, you know, they're puffy and they... They look helpless, like you want to rescue them. Um, and I think that's probably why people think that they're cute. Um, at least the ones that we've seen in the scanning electron microscope, when you get up close to them, they're not super cute. They're kind of intimidating. They got big, nasty looking claws on the end of their feet and uh, their mouth looks like a vacuum cleaner mixed together with like, um, I don't know, something really dangerous has got teeth inside, so. Do diatoms still grow much in the winter? They do. Uh, diatoms do not care much about temperature, uh, most of them. Some of them are temperature sensitive, but actually most diatoms don't really care about the temperature of the water. And um, the... Um, they can grow under the ice and in fact um, in many lake systems it's probably a time when they dominate because most of the other algae can't handle very cold temperatures like blue green and cyanobacteria typically do very poorly when the temperatures get very cold um, and of course I'm assuming you mean in temperate place because not everywhere winter is not the same for everywhere but uh, in a in a you know, temperate winter with snow cover um, and ice and frozen over lake systems. I would say actually ice is not a challenge for diatoms. Um, if you block out all of the light by putting a bunch of snow on top of the ice, then you will get uh, a problem because they need light. Hey, Tropical Geek, you just got a, a um, three month gift subscription courtesy of Sinai Teacups that's entered your third month. That's amazing. Where are the girls? Well, um, Mallory's right here. To, to my right. She'll put her fingers in the field of view. I shouldn't do the other one. Yeah, this is an awkward little peace sign. I look like I'm having an, an issue. Like, She's having issues. And then uh, uh, the other girls are all home because it's Christmas break for them. And our semester officially ended um, last week on Friday. But uh, grades were due this week on Tuesday. So uh, I'm technically also done with my semester. Although I still have meetings and things to deal with, as, uh, as Jess mentioned earlier. This diatom that we're looking at is Gyro Sigma, the genus Gyro Sigma. It gets its cool name from the fact that it has sort of an S shape to it. Um, 
this sigmoid shape. If I zoom out, it'll be clearer. There you go. You can see it's slightly S-shaped, right? So like a Dairy Queen sign. And when you zoom in on it, the stri are grid-shaped, which means that it's gyro sigma. There's another diatom that's close to this, which is pleuro sigma, and instead of having cross-shaped stri, uh, it has the cussate shape. They make little diamonds instead. That one's a gyro sigma. I don't know the species off the top of my head, but it's probably either a cuminata or a tenuata. Uh, Tropical Geek said you guys should do a team thing for the micro squad. Who should? You should. Who is you? I don't know. But to add it to the stream page, I sent the squad command. Oh, thank you. I think at some point Dell and uh, Pacific Plankton and I were thinking about having a little like chat section where we just sit around and talk about things because we did that once or, or so in, uh, in the Discord channel, just sort of had a cool chat and um, I thought it was really fun. But uh, the details never came forward for how we were going to do that, so it just kind of faltered. This one is actually Pinularia. So earlier we were looking at one that I thought I mentioned looked kind of like Pinularia, and you can see that the the striae are similar, and big open striae. But in fact, these are chambers, and the striae are these little tiny fine things that you can see on the other side of them if you have it focused just right, and then they stand out. So as I mentioned, the one that we were looking at before had lineations in the uh, in the inside of them and this one clearly has little tiny 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 holes no lineations this is a perfect example of a pinularia that's what the inside looks like they have a chamber and then these little holes that make up the actual structure of the areoli If I could get one that doesn't have a piece of junk on it, maybe I'll take a picture, because I like the internal piece. Junk! <laughs> Dang it, junk! Uh, they're talking about setting up a team thing for all of you guys, and Dal said, I'd love to. To make a team, we have to have one of us reach partner, and then he said, race to the top. Oh, yeah, that's sort of a team. Yeah, we can't do a team unless we have a partner. Some streamers have a team on their pages. Whoever reaches partner first forms the team. Yeah, that would be nice. Um, Dr. WD40 to support. If we had a team, that would be really cool. Uh, maybe open set? I don't know. He's. I think he has enough people that watch his stream. Um, he just needs to... I think he just needs the... He must just need the uh, number of days of a week or whatever where he, he uh, puts his... I think you have to have a certain number of, like, a density of um, shows that you do, or whatever, streams that you do. What does it mean to be a partner? What is a partner? Uh, there's three different ranks in Twitch. There's, like, the people who just start out, and then um, you can't have emotes or any of those things at that stage. Uh, and you're sort of just growing. I don't remember what the name of that rank is and then there's the rank that we are at which is affiliate and affiliate are allowed to um, have emotes and subscribers and things like that and then there's partner which is the next level up and then you're allowed to do all kinds of you know high-end things with that but you have to have a minimum of like average minimum of 75 viewers mm -hmm. and our average here on our stream is somewhere around 30, I think, um, for the past month. So not terrible, but not 75. And I think that's the only thing that's holding us back is the average number. I think probably OpenSet gets close to 75 every time that he streams. Yeah, OpenSet, step up. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, does anyone else get creeped out by tiny holes? Rihanna does, or she says she does. I don't know if I believe what? that's true. 
she actually has that? She says she does, but she doesn't. What is like she doing in my lab it. then? Because all we do is look at things with little tiny holes. I don't know. I think she's faking it. I won't lie. Rihanna, if you're out there, I'm calling you out. Um. You need to schedule and stairs your streams to share the viewers. Hmm. You need to schedule in stairs? Too hard. If people want to watch, they can watch. That seems to be a good thing. Tactical. I mean, we're generally, s our, our streams are generally spread out, except for I think Dell and Pacific kind of overlap quite a bit. Um, but I think like, as a team, I feel like we sort of cover the afternoons and sometimes I get the early evening streams in from home and then Dell and, and Pacific really do sort of evening after midnight Eastern time streams. But, uh, oh, you mean like from one directly to the next? So we could shove our viewers from one to the next? Uh, we do that sometimes. Um, I try to do a little late night stream sometimes and then, uh, and then I can raid um, Dell or Pacific Plankton. We just need some more microscope streamers probably in order to accomplish that. And there's only like six of us, so. Mm, I feel like if that's someone's whole job, then they can like, it'd be normal to like do like tactical approach to it, you know? But I don't know. I feel like if people want to come watch, then they can come watch. Yeah. I mean, there's an advantage to having some people be partner, so. At least having one person so you can have a team. But I don't know that it really matters that much. Does it, like, do anything for you? Having a team? No. It just yeah. maybe makes a list of people that people could view very easily. Make a web page. <laughs> Mallory does not screw. Yeah. I mean, sometimes she's on here. Sometimes she's my main operator. Mm. I'm just your average everyday, uh, um, viewer. You're an assistant. Mm. Tropical Geek does a lot of recruiting. For the military? Because I've been getting a lot of emails from you guys recently. Um, yeah, I'm a sidekick. An Igor, if you will. A sidekick? Dale said he's on a work call, so he can't hear him. That's okay. He's always like that. Just when you need him the most, work call. He's working. <laughs> the audacity of some people. Yeah. Whew. I mean, it would be nice if somebody was on here that we could regularly go raid at the end of our streams. We are working. I am too. No, I don't think so. Prove me wrong, you can't. I won't. You are probably this counts as work. Mm. For you. Mm. I mean I found a hair, a cat hair. Interesting. You mean like in your hair? Well, in my pants. That sounded weird. That sounded super it was weird. Stuff on my pants. That sounds better. There you go. Oh, that's a. Uh, you know what that is? Hmm. This. Do you have any idea what that is? Uh, it looks much like a bear paw. Well, since how we're at the two, the twenty micron scale bar down here, it's I mean, a bear. It, it's not a bear. Water bear. That's no, water bear that's paw not a bear. Bye, traffic and you. Thanks for hanging out with us. And for uh, the subscription, mm -hmm. utilizing the subscription that you got. You know what that is? Wait, it looks oh, spiky on the side. It's spiky. It's not a chrysophyte. 
No. This is not part of an animate organ organism. It's not? Nope. Oh. Is it... It looks smooth, like the one time I took a picture of, like, volcanic rock or ash. <gasps> How did you get that? Because it has the little smooth side. That is actually volcanic ash. Cool. Look at you. Using that thing in your ears. In between them. It was one of the first pictures I took. I remember. I mean, you don't always remember things, so... Yeah, that's fair. Rough also, stuff. sorry about touching your hand. I forgot myself. It's okay. I'm preoccupied. <laughs> With what? Uh. What could be more entrancing? Huh? No, I mean, no longer will I fall in love by simply touching people. Oh, cool. Now I'm grown up. All they have to do is... Uh, give me five hundred dollars, <laughs> and they can never say mean things to me. <laughs> a uh, cow, maybe, uh, or like a, a dowry, like five cows, that's, a goat or two. I don't think that's love you're talking. No, I kind of gotta disagree. Well, I gotta agree with myself. I'm gonna disagree with you. Uh, that sounds normal. Yeah. Let's jump over to this stuff. I like how it knew that I said dowry. I like You're that. still reading the closed captions? Yeah, I am. The, the chat kind of died. So did it? It did. Trap the geek and yeah. It's because uh, it's because you've been reading the captions the whole time. Mm? No, 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 no. Kaelthon said we did. I'm dead. I'm alive, but I'm dead. On the inside. Cool. It's the external view of a pinularia. And a little navicula down here. Most of the time when I'm on the SEM, I'm on a quest for specimens with no junk on the outside, which seems to be the hardest thing to accomplish. Here's a little Lindavia costii with no junk on it. The smaller they are, the easier it is to find them without junk on them, though. So there's that. Do this. It's looking good. Take a picture. Electric boogie woogie woogie. We can copyright it just by me singing. I'm so off key, I don't think they'd even be able to detect it, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah. What does it say? <laughs> what so is the technique? Electric boogie woogie, we can talk about it. Just Barney singing. I'm so lucky, I don't think that he would be able to detect it, to be honest with you, really. How does it get it, Billy? I don't hear the pinion area. And I want a picture of a down here. What's the time? And, and I'm on the SCM. I'm on a quest for specimens with no junk on the outside or seems to be the hardest thing to accomplish. A little day it to <laughs> I feel like I need to take it away from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like mesmerized by it. I just keep reading it. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like maybe the audience doesn't want to have you reading the captioning at them. I'm helping them. <laughs> this, is a, this is a literacy channel. <laughs> we promote English literacy. Twitch is streaming right now. What? They're streaming into just chatting. What are they chatting about? I don't know. Oh, they're having a town hall meeting. Maybe that's where all the excitement is. The Monterey Bay Aquarium? We raided Why? them before. Again? We should pick somebody to raid, though. It's getting close to the end of our stream. And, uh, and it's time. Not time time, but close to time. You're going to be okay driving home? Yeah. 
I'm working for like a couple more hours. Oh, I thought you were gonna just like leave and go straight home. Nah. Oh no, I'm not going home until like home home until tomorrow. Oh okay. Because my sister's flight got shifted to the next day. What do you scan? That's a great question. Rabbitator asks, "What do you scan?" Right now, we are scanning a diatom. This is a external view of the diatom Lindavia costii from June Lake. And the diatoms have a siliceous skeleton. And you're looking at the cell wall of that diatom right now, the ultrastructure. And you can see that the, uh, the scale down here, the field of view of what you're looking at is eight microns. Cross. It's a very, very small organism. I feel like maybe the focus is a little fuzzy on that one. I could do better. The <laughs> rabbitator said I understood none. I know. It's okay. I'm in that area too, so you're already halfway to being Dr. Stone's assistant. <laughs> Great. I need a replacement. <laughs> oh, my time is running thin, isn't it? Well, you've got another year. A year's nothing. That's true. We just lost an entire one. Felt like a month, really. Yeah. So, you know, on the bright side, another month you'll be out of here. Jesus. Then I have to... Oh, I like that circle in the middle. What circle in the, the middle? Eyes this one? Uh-huh. It's just an internal view of the one and that we were looking Stella? at. No, Lindavia costii. Again, just Lindavia costii. Same diatom we were just looking at. There's the inside and the outside views. Oh. Um, MRCBCMRB. Thank you for joining the Diatom Army. Interesting name, care to explain? There's a lot of C's and B's in there. These last few moments of the stream, would you care to make it about yourself? Because I am here for that. She's always here for that. I'm here for that. She's always about making it about herself. That's true. You ready? I mean, really, it's the best part of the stream, so... Oh, that's pretty. You know what it kind of looks like? A big diatom playing a saxophone. Where is the saxophone? Down the here? Bottom, yeah. Okay. And then he's also got like a harmonica. Where is the harmonica? On the left. The this right. thing? The right. This no, thing? The right. This thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's got two mouths and he's playing musical instruments in both of them. Well, he's got a saxophone and then he's holding like a tambourine as well. Like with one hand, the other hand. You could make that happen. I don't, I'm a little confused with the... The thought said, that's a harmonica. You know what? Uh, it's like a harmonica. In that it's... It is a harmonica. No, it's not Near like its mouth. Thing. It is. Fake mouth. Mr. C, B, C, Mr. B. Maybe. Mr. Anything near, yeah, anything that gets near the mouth. That's actually how we define harmonica. So is a harmonica. when you're eating anything, say so you're eating a hamburger, that's actually a harmonica. If you're eating a... Ha hamburger sounds nice right about now. Really? I hadn't eat breakfast or I lunch. Said that, I said that like so judgmentally. I know. I say it like that. You got a problem with um, eating hamburgers? If you kind of stand near a microphone a little bit, like just like lean in towards it, that's harmonica as well. What's your diet? Just harmonicas, low carbs. Yeah, I only <laughs> eat low carb harmonicas. I'm on the keto harmonica diet. <laughs> I only... <laughs> uh, keto is just eating harmonicas that were produced before the 1950s, so vintage harmonicas. I think that's the paleo harmonica diet. Yeah. Da, 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 da. 
Well, I feel like we should find a person to attack. I stand by the turtles. Rabbitator says, is it possible to develop some kind of self-replicating cell using and use it as logic elements? Maybe it is a future where the whole electronic industry, organic, microelectronic, what do I think? I understood none of that. <laughs> uh, diatoms are self-replicating cells. Uh, could we use them as logic elements, though? I don't know the answer to that. You mean, like, uh, they have a nanotechnology that sort of does this thing. Um, I mean, I think somebody's came up with this idea already. And then it ended up being... Uh, no, I think it was the basis for Terminator 3. So it ended up turning itself into like a hot chick, uh, hot chick Terminator. I feel like if we like made AI, everyone's like, oh, they'd want to take over the world or whatever. But I think really after looking at like humanity for a while, they'd be like, I just kind of want to be a hot girl and just become a hot chick. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's where nanotechnology, <laughs> that's, that's the, the end point. Like skip right to the termination of it. It's about being a hot girl. The future of AI is just turning into Natalie Portman. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess we could argue about the specific, like, model, but, you know. Media, external. That's a nice, pretty picture. You know, I did a pretty good job with that one. Look at that. Look at it. Got some junk on it. I mean, I can't help the junk. It's like I took a picture, a good picture of a little kid and the kid had some peanut butter on his face. The I, peanut butter is not my fault. I have pictures of me when I was a toddler where I was eating a cupcake and I have like cupcakes smeared on my face. Uh, and it was definitely... It sounds hot. Well, well, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but like, listen, listen, listen. My mom, she used to make advertisements. What? For, yeah, she used to work in advertising and... One of them was she made an advertisement for a, Look at this. For a food chair. Look at this. What? I didn't want to break into your story, but yeah. that Stefan Adiscus has a harmonica. And it's... Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, my mom used to make an advertisement <laughs> for a food bank, and every single time she made it, she'd use the picture of me like I was a kid who was starving just because I was eating a cupcake and I was making a sad face. Wait, you were making a sad was, face. You left that part out. I was, yeah, I did. I'm sorry. I was actually the it's face less hot. of child. Just going to say, that's less hot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should smile. <laughs> you look better if you smile. Exactly. Mama Bonbon said, see space nails. I like hey, how Mama Bonbon supports me. Do you know, um, it's, a uh, what is today? Wednesday? On Friday, it's Mama Bonbon's birthday. We're not going to stream on Friday. So we should wish her happy birthday right now. Ah! Happy, happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. Are you making happy, this song up? Happy, happy, happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Oh, look. No, it's I've like never heard that song before. happy birthday. Never heard it before. How about we sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas? <gasps> Whoa. It's Cavinula. We wish you a happy birthday. We oh my wish God. you a happy birthday. I feel like I shouldn't have even let her happy start. Happy birthday and a happy birthday. Um, what's another one? I don't, I don't know. Mm. Can you do uh? Feliz can you do it Feliz. a birthday song, but instead you sing as um, BTS? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, hold on. Do a BTS song. And no, then replace the lyrics with birthday. Well, Bon Bon, don't thank me yet. The show's about to start. <laughs> um, I want a birthday BTS song. Okay. Well, and I can't even remember one of their songs. Uh, what? They're your favorite on. band. <laughs> All we ever hear about is BTS oh, this yeah, and yeah. BTS that. Um, hold on. Um, I mean, I think you spend a whole stream fighting with somebody about BTS being better than the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> I stand by that. BTS. <laughs> BTS could do Here Comes the Sun, but the Beatles could do Dionysus. You can't even remember any of their songs. 
Well, I, I can't if I asked you to like, sing a Beatles song, I'm you could do it. I think of like how I could. Um, uh, That's what I thought. Cause they, I don't know. Wait. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm the next Justin Bieber. Uh, hey Zaria, watch out! <laughs> I'm coming for the game. I don't think she has anything to worry about. <laughs> um, happy birthday, 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 happy birthday. What? If we give you, if somebody gives a sub, will she stop? <laughs> All right, Probably. we're gonna take one last picture, then we're gonna raid somebody. So we need to make a decision on that. Not the picture, the raid. No, hold on. Why do I have notifications? Let's look at my messages. I can't wait. Oh, there it is. There what is? Um, an, a, a request to join a pyramid scheme. Oh. Yet another. Do you ever get those? No, I get a people who pose as robots and try to ask me if I'd like to become famous, though. I get guys asking me if I would like a sugar daddy on accounts made exactly three hours prior. Um, a sugar daddy? Yeah, they're they're fake accounts, like, so you send, like, bad pictures and they never send money. It's Did you fun. try? No, I haven't, but I'm not stupid. Have you tried, though? No. And then I How do you know it's not going to work girls, if you don't try? I have girls that'll send, um... Ask me if I want to join pyramid schemes. Yeah, could you find someone that streams the harmonica, please, Kyofon? Thank you. Step up. Look at this crazy structure on the outside of this thing. Just a little too dissolved. This is uh, Epithemia Frickii. Frickii. Frick yeah. Fricky eye. Frick yeah. I don't think it's fricky yeah. Heck yeah. I don't. Hello Pacific. Pacific Plankton is here. Mm -hmm. Why did they come just at the end of our stream though? Uh, she must hate us. It's over. We're it's at the a, end. It's over between us. Oh no, it's not over between us. Mama Bamba said it's a loofa. Yay, more points. I finally have 30,000. I hope I can buy a 30. Valerie's Monster. It's not an option. See, but I thought it was. You've had this sort of misconception for a really long time. Well, I, it was true at one point. I know at one point it was true. Mm, I don't I think so. It. I know it. I don't think so. Oh, Anna Kim, what's up? Back for more. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. What are you up to today, Pacific Plankton? You have streams where you had to teach people things? She said she had an alert because it was a helping her mom day. Oh, okay. That's very fun. Well, I mean, that's what Christmas is all about, helping your mom. Yeah, good thing it's not Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas? You just spend that up. When is Christmas? What day is that? Is it next Friday? Mm, it yes. It is next Friday. Yes. A Friday. It's gonna be a long couple weeks. Why? I don't know. They seem to pass slower when I'm they they simultaneously pass like super quick when I'm home and also extremely slow. Well, it's because time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, but how can it be both? <gasps> Look at that die Tom. Oh, this is what I wanted to show Sarah Dance Painter. Is she still lurking? Fluoro Sigma! Close. Inactikani. Join the Dot Warmer. Thank you for that. Thank you for the follow. Thank you. You won't regret it. Well, so don't. You're gonna get views like this. I want such microscope into my home. How much does it cost? Uh, for the low price of $160,000, uh, 
and then a $10,000 a year maintenance contract and a $10,000 sputter coater, you could have a microscope just like this one. <laughs> you too. Um, also, you have to take into consideration that you may need to pay part of Mallory's salary. So add yeah. another $300 on top of that. <laughs> yeah, my vegetable, um, my vegetable fund. Uh, it's yeah, like Space Invaders. I like how it looks like a little man waving his arms about. They're like da 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 Is that what they're doing? Yeah. Or like an X chromosome. Oh uh, man. Those areoli are amazing looking. Anakin, I'm I'm not sure that I was supposed to draw you. Did I promise that? It's all a blur, really, truly. Does a Mallory come with a microscope? I did uh, much like Athena, I sprang from the electron beam. Yeah, it's true. I actually came like yeah, see, he got the uh, scope, and then I just happened to show up. I just happened to become a student soon. It's all really coincidental. Um, That's factual. Anna Kim, I'll... Uh, can we see atoms? No. Send me a, a Discord. We can see atoms if there's enough of them close together, and they make solid matter, though. Like Clippy? Yes. I'm Clippy. I should have made my name Clippy. Instead of Igor. I'm ISU's SEM. You Clippy. can rename yourself. I could, but I shan't. <laughs> I shan't, and I won't. <laughs> I know you think your joke about about shan't is funny, but I won't stop saying it. Could you show us the SEM, get an idea of how big it is? Yeah, we could. Just say yeah and don't do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It might take me a second. You to... can just grab that. I don't think that's a very good way to do it. You've done it like five times already. Yeah, that's why I don't think it's a very good way. We see atoms all the time. Yeah, just touch your hand. Or I mean, just look at the hand in the first place. Don't go touch it. Don't touch it. You never know what might happen. Anakin, you don't know where it's been. Anakin, I broke you. Fix yourself. Get a hold of yourself, man. <laughs> uh, droid cam. I didn't want to rate you right now, but thanks for asking. You see photons all the time? Ha! Get it, it's like... Joy can. Client. Did it ask you to rate it? Like, out of ten? Like, like, if you, if you like, saw me on the street, no. like... It's not like, finding what, what, it. What do you think I would, like, on a scale of one to ten? Start. I mean, a close-up of the atoms. What about molecules? Nope. Can't go that far. Oh, it put me on a different part of the network, that's why. We can see down to nanometers. Uh, we lose a lot of detail, though. Whoa. There we go. Stone cam. There we go. We'll just do this. Now you can see there's Mallory over there. She's giving you the two fingers. Here is uh, the computer terminal, and that's the SCM. So really it's this whole desk from the base of that to this thing. And then there's a computer component right there. And the second computer is actually for the, uh, this thing here, which is the elemental analyzer, the EDAX. So, when we put samples in, they go into this chamber right here, which opens up, and then you can see the actual chamber is this big metal part right here. That's the camera that's looking into the actual, the infrared camera that looks into the chamber. And these are little ports that uh, you could put additional parts in there if you wanted to. And one of them over here is the elemental analyzer. So there's another option one down there. And this is the secondary detector. It's actually detecting the electrons coming off of the sample. <laughs> and comes down the cable and goes into the computer. Right, so. Sick gaming setup. Wow, I thought it was on the desk, not the desk. And yeah. then Kaothon set a drink right next to the SEM. Bold Joyce Cotton, let's see if it works out for him. There's, this is my microphone that I talk into. And then over here is our 
camera is sitting on top of a diatom. It's taking a picture of us. That's the screen. Yeah. That's it. Behind the scenes. You're behind the scenes. We're like behind the screen. You're in it. Huh. Wow. And, uh, and now it's, now it's gone. How was that? That's kind of magical. There you oh, go. I gotta go watch that movie. Thanks, Kale Came back just in time. Uh, you get to see the whole thing. Yeah, it's sort of like the whole piece is a desk and the SEM together. The little dudes look like pay bar. Yeah, they look like uh, some sort of crazy writing. It's written in, in the poetry of uh, silica. It's a symbol. What are they? Plura. Uh, oh, wait, them. this is a uh, Symbella Mexicana. Anakin really wants his drawing. Did you like request a drawing from Sylvia? So Dell, uh, yeah, he did. Mm. And he wanted me to draw a picture of the SEM for him, so I'm going to do that too. No, Anakin was saying. Yeah. Oh, I he did it. Do you think he used two two different ones? No, Dell uh, has Symbella Mexicana sometimes on his on his stream in the light in his light microscope. Here's what it looks like in the SEM. That's Symbella Mexicana right there. Characterized by these really cool areoli, and if we zoom in and look very closely, there's a stigma right there in between the two. Little, this little hole, magical little hole, and then it has these uh, stigmoid pieces down here as well. That's it. Yeah. That's that's the uh, Symbella Mexicana. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. We found one. Really neat looking stri. I was gonna end on a picture of a Stephanodiscus though. I don't know that I want Nigari. Nigari looked kind of cool up close too, though. We'll do that. We'll do a zoom in. We'll do a little close up of this Nigari. See if I can get close enough that the junk's all gone. Boom. Like magic. Well, almost all the junk. Uh, you can't just get. You can't get away from all of it. You can only get away from most of it. There's always going to be some junk on there somewhere. And I'll just get the focus nice and tight. And then slow the beam way down. And we'll take that picture. And while it's developing here, as it's scanning, we will uh, try to figure out who we're going to raid and then we'll go raid them. So we've got some choices. I don't think we want to raid the Twitch channel. Maybe they wouldn't let us anyway. And I'm not raiding the aquarium. So none the geek. We got some art choices. We got physics O. What do you think? What are my options? Some artists, friends of mine from the artist back alley, a musician, physics O. I kind of want to make a physics person's day. This one? Yeah. We can do physics, though. I think we've rated them before. But we can do it again. We do whatever we want. We do whatever we want. Gravitator oh, says they don't Rabbitator. speak English. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can you... Uh, she help? doesn't either. It's fine. What, uh, what, uh, what language do you speak? I will try and help. Oh, there's a label warning for Physics O, mature audiences only. So if you feel like you can't handle some swear words, besides the ones that Mallory uses, uh, you know, occasionally. I don't swear. I've never done that before. That's against my code, my moral code. All right. I want to thank all the people who followed <laughs> us today. <laughs> uh, we broke 700 followers, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we got a number of subscriptions from Sherlock, gave out, uh, I think, 10 tier one community gift subs. 
we had a whole bunch of people that followed us. We had some people that cheered, including Jam Yaz, and also I think Sherlock did, yeah, uh, 1500 bits cheer. Those are both amazing. And uh, Tropical Geek with a subscription and a bunch of followers. And I think, um, I think on Saturday I'll stream, but I'm not positive because Mallory's leaving. And uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, I might cut back the stream a little bit uh, from the SCM, and I might stream a little bit more from uh, the light microscope at home so that I am not coming in uh, when the building is shut down. We are going to Physics O. We got 10 seconds. We will see you then. All right. Bye, Goodbye. Ladies. Bye.